First on BBC One, Premier League football in Match of the Day with Desmond Lynham. Good evening. Is it a Rovers return or a Liverpool fight back? We'll find out tonight as the first big Premiership class of the season takes place. Just two years ago they were champions, but they're facing the side which has had the right to call themselves champions for the last 20 years. Are Liverpool about to spot themselves back into life and get their title campaign on up and running? Blackburn Rovers Liverpool is match one. Oh, weird. But Manabin, Liverpool been the better side so far. Oh, oh it's surely! City have got a promising start to the season. Gordon Strachan certainly looks up for this, but they're up, up against at the moment Bolton Wanderers, who are unbeaten and got a 100% record this season. That's game two. Do you favour the goalkeeper? Here's Hall. Oh, and there was Huckabee. The new boys have enjoyed life to their start in the Premiership at the moment with their first win of the season. But Chelsea were arriving in town. How would Barnsley fare on? with all the other goals that took, took place this weekend here in the Premiership. And Trevor and Trevor are on the side of us to go and give us their accounts and analysis and tell us what's diabolical or not. We we'll start at Ewood Park tonight, and how could we not? Blackburn Rovers are starting to produce something slightly special at the moment under Roy Hodgson. This is what people would believe at the moment. As for Roy Evans, he'll be hoping this is the season his Liverpool side can kick on after falling away in their quest for the championship last season. Your commentator at Ewood Park is Trev Champion. Many would say the big test is for Liverpool today. A very poor start to the season has seen two defeats so far. And Blackburn Rovers, who have picked up a solid four points from their first two games, are not the easiest place to come when the form is low. Rovers who've netted three goals thus far. Line up with Chris Sutton and Kevin Gallagher leading the line. Sutton getting off the mark in the previous match twice. And that dependable back line looking to shut out any Liverpool onslaught today. Young Michael Owen starting up top with Steve McManaman. Paulins propping up the midfield. Good atmosphere at Ewood Park today. Here's McKinley. Wide to Ripley who's been left in a lot of space. And Ripley with a great ball in for Sutton. And he strikes the crossbar. Glorious ball in by Ripley and Sutton. Couldn't keep it down from all of around four yards. through the gap, nice touch on for McManaman and McManaman now for Thompson who has a chance to deliver Wilcox did his duty Leonardson and McManaman thought about the shot Murphy Ince through the gap nicely for Owen and Owen onto the left foot and a combination of Honcho and Sherwood Preventing that, but it's found its way through again to Ince. Ince with the shot again blocked. Leonardson. This is better from Liverpool. Thompson. That's a terrific cross. And Colin Hendry had to get his head on that and usually does. Ever reliable. Ince towards McManaman. And he's at the post this time. Almost a carbon copy of Chris Sutton's opportunity at the other end. Just couldn't get over it. That's two opportunities you feel. Had it been a yard or two further out, we'd have seen a couple of goals. Owen. 
at Merriman. Liverpool been the better side so far. Oh, oh it's surely. No flag. And Michael Owen gets his angles all wrong. Not his finest hour at all. Completely screwing that shot past the upright. And they won't get a better opportunity, I don't feel. And uh, Ripley again. He's had some joy on that side. Murphy tracking him. Ripley again with another good delivery for Sutton. He arrived late, timed his run to perfection, but just couldn't get enough whip on that header. And Chris Sutton looking for his third goal of the season. Twice with the headers, almost found it. Ball from Rami to Berger and Murphy picking up that touch. Leonardson looking for a shot, beaten away by Flowers who had to be safe. Owen was rushing in for the rebound, if it were to come. Leonardson with very little back lift there. It's a good, strong palm from Flowers. Liverpool will be wanting to stay out of their own half after the comedy of errors that led to Wimbledon's second goal. Berger, that challenge. Well, the ball was taken, but I think... I think Jeff Kenner came through the back there to get it. And Hendry protesting, but a yellow card is issued here. Yeah, that's a tackle from behind. Owen really held his own at a young age in this... Liverpool side stamped a place up front but he's taken down there referee ways play on McKinley for Ripley Berger on his heels but Ripley's done well here to keep hold of this and he has not stopped getting those crosses in and James came out to collect this time but he has been a constant threat referee's whistle expected there it is it's half time and so far I think Liverpool have edged it in terms of opportunities. Michael Owen with a fabulous chance, which he somehow managed not to hit the target with. But Blackburn also hit the upright. It's half time, it is nil-nil at Ewood Park. Sutton free kick. Liverpool no time to protest. And that ball has somehow reached Ripley there. Berger was a little slow. Ripley, that's another good delivery. In towards Sutton over the head. Thompson dealing with it. It's a real discontent amongst the Liverpool fans after the way they've started this season. Five goals conceded. But Manaman, that's a nice touch. Leonardson, they certainly look sharper today. And Thompson with a cross towards Owen. And Honcho managed to get his head to that. Similar to Hendry in the first half. It's a Liverpool corner. Leonardson whips it in towards Murphy. who got his head on it. It was very central. And a little too high. Flowers would have had that covered you'd imagine. Yes. But the threat is certainly there. Really good ball to Thompson, who took it so well on the touchline. Here's Ince. Leonardson, who's been heavily involved today. Owen with a touch for Murphy. That's nice football from Liverpool. Berger. And Berger looking for the shot. That looked to be a trip. It's a free kick. Ripley not happy with that decision, but he left a foot in. And Liverpool have a free kick in what would have been John Barnes' territory last season. It's now going to be Leon Hansen to take. Rovers' wall did its job. It's not going to fall for anyone. But Chris Sutton here and he's lost out. 
Hints, the chance is back with Liverpool, shot by McManaman, deflected through to Flowers. But you get the feeling it's a case of when, not if, for Liverpool right now. An easy take for Flowers on that occasion. Hints he has dictated the play somewhat today, Paul Hints. Leonardson. Hints again. Thompson getting involved that's another foul I think no yes sorry the referee waiting to see if there was some advantage to which there was not and Sherwood just getting a word in his ear going to be Ince this time looking to swing it in there'll be a dash in the centre Leonardson went up for it and it's past the post, it'll be a goal kick. It's not quite happening for Liverpool, but there's certainly an improvement on the opening two games of this season. Blackburn as the home side have not really got hold of this game, but they are always a threat, and that's a good ball to Sutton. That's a great tackle by Kvarma there, and Wright got involved, but it's come back for Sutton with a curling shot. It took a deflection, and that's the closest Blackburn Rovers have come in this half. Chris Sutton has been the threat today. Bit of a mix-up. And it may well have been travelling in had it not got the clip off Wright. Here's McManaman. Seven minutes to go here. Owen, that looked to be a bit late on him. He was travelling in the opposite direction. Well, Honcho may have had a problem there. Owen made the run and he just got his heels clipped. We've got another free kick for Liverpool in a dangerous position. Score still nil apiece. And it's going to be Leonardson again. Had one attempt earlier on. And this one hits the wall also. Hendry looking to come away with it. And finds Gallagher who's had a quiet afternoon. Sutton. Into Sherwood. And he's lost out. And McAteer picks it up. The substitute did well there. Nice touch by McManaman, it moves on to Owen. Why not? Oh, he's done it! The youngster has probably won this game for Liverpool. You can't say they don't deserve it. There is Bedlam on the bench. It's an outstanding goal. And one that could kickstart Liverpool's season. Look at what it means. McAteer did the work. Some lovely touches. And Ince found no win. And what a strike that is. High into the roof of the net. It's rising all the time past Flowers. And you have to say, they've left it late, but it was coming. And Michael Owen is the man to do it. Blackburn have to readjust. They've only got a few minutes left. Don is on for Doff. Don is involved straight away. That's a fine ball out to Ripley, who's probably been Blackburn's best player today. Ripley looking for a cross. He's got support. Ripley still has hold of it here. They've only a minute left here, and it's a free kick in a good position for Blackburn to deliver the ball in, it's now or never really the trip by Berger presents the opportunity Ripley to deliver it's up towards Sutton on the back post, that's good defending it's come back for Donis back in again for Sutton he's had all the chances today, he's missed that one as well 
and Liverpool greet the final whistle with delight it's the first win of the season for them a badly needed victory after the last couple of weeks Blackburn will feel they didn't do enough in front of their own supporters today Liverpool go home with all three points it's Blackburn Rovers nil Liverpool won it's a Roy of the Rovers story, wasn't it? But it wasn't quite what we expected. Young Michael Owen producing a brilliant strike there. Oh, what a talent they've got in this young man. I think young Michael Owen, for me, looks a, a very, very impressive player. Really impressed. I mean, the movement in the build-up to that goal was exceptional. The finish is just out of this world. There's just no way you can stop that. Never, never, never can you get anywhere near that. It's a great finish and a brilliant goal. What about Blackburn Rovers? They're going to be disappointed. Uh, they didn't take their chances. And at the top level, that's what you've got to do. And that's what didn't happen today. And I think that's what Rovers will learn. I mean, if they can learn from this and take this on, uh, maybe they can get themselves into a position to challenge or maybe even get into Europe this season. It's, it's going to be desperately close. Well, Bolton Wanderers have been a surprise this season. A 100% record at the moment, unbeaten against a Coventry side, as we know, who have certainly got the opportunity to impress people now and again. Your commentator at this one is Trevor Davis. Highfield Road welcomes Bolton Wanderers back after their two-year stay in the First Division. And they're so far the only side with a 100% record at the moment in the Premiership. Coventry City started the season with an excellent win over Chelsea, but have been beaten previously. So Bolton Wanderers arrive in the form side of this contest. But form can be thrown out of the form book against the former FA Cup winners. Coventry City know here today that they're building something special at the moment under Gordon Strachan. And he goes with young Darren Huckabee to partners Dion Dublin in the midfield. George Boateng is impressed and continues his place alongside Gary Pallister. A back three of Williams, Green and Shaw is certainly stirring things up. For Bolton Wanderers is the return of Peter Beardsley into midfield, also flanked by Alan Thompson on the left. Franson will get the armband and go in the middle. Dean Holdsworth will go up front along with Nathan Blake. Blake gets the flick on to Peter Beardsley. Left Newcastle last season. Could have been reunited. Oh, Blake! Oh! Well, the header just flies wide. I was about to say Peter Beardsley could have been reunited with Barnes and Rush. And if he was providing this sort of service, you wonder, but how on earth did Blake find that much space? Telf has seen a lot of the ball and is trying to play it whenever he can into the channels. Dublin certainly winning in the aerial duel. Thompson to Franson. Looking for Blake. Look threatening in the air today. John Sheridan for Bolton. Blake. Good header down to Beardsley. Neil Cox returning him the ball. That's a deep cross. And another chance of Blake. Another chance of Bolton, which hasn't been taken. Good work in the end between Beardsley and Cox. And really, Blake should have scored that. Williams intercepting that with ease. Boateng. Huckabee. Oh! Excellent touch there, but Franson got the better of him. The clearance, though, took a deflection. McAllister. Huckabee. Dublin on the turn. Huckabee still has it. Telfer. Great cross. Good header away by Fish. More good play and good defending from the South African to dig the header out. Dangerous moments well dealt with. And a great little flick on, by the way, to Dean Holsworth. He's got two in the Premiership and has got a third in a row. Phenomenal from Dean Holsworth. The flick on was taken. Holsworth has found the finish. The side with a 100% record has scored first. 1-0 to Bolton, who's been their score so far. We stand with August about to depart us and Bolton Wanderers have the lead. Great work from Nathan Blake. The flick on was timed perfectly. 
has far too much guile to break away from Breen on the pace one on one with Marcus Hednam takes one touch and just fires it past him that's a cracking goal from the former Wimbledon centre forwards Holsworth again finding room here's Franson trying to look for Holsworth again but that'll be easily claimed by Hedman I don't think you can be too disappointed about that effort there's not a lot he could do goalkeeper is exposed one on one if you always favour the centre forward as you do in a penalty it's the further out you do favour the goalkeeper here's Hall oh and there was Huckabee there was the header and there was nearly the response good sweeping football again lovely ball by Dublin Marcus Hall getting the cross and this time with his right foot and Huckabee's header flying over Brannigan's post Franson that was fouled and a booking for Philippe Clement leapt in on Franson it was the kick out I would imagine so it is Rob Elliott and Alan Thompson. Thompson's going to have a go. It strikes the wall. Elliott keeps it in play. John Sheridan. Clever ball into Holdsworth. Clever football again from Bolton Wanderers. Yet somehow they don't have a second goal. From the free kick, it was really well done to keep the ball in play. Holdsworth couldn't keep that effort down. Dublin. Huckabee. Fine ball that is. Marcus Hall has got there. Neil Cox is across. All has Clement support. Here he is, the man that's born him in booked. Now McAllister, who strikes one, and Brannigan just got it over the bar. And Elliott's tipped it behind. Gary McAllister lining it up. Picked his corner. He's hit this true dipping. I think Brannigan's made a better save than that looks in real time. Wanderers are on course to keep their perfect start to the season. We're going to have that at this beginning of play. And a booking arrives for Per Franson, the Danish midfielder who's got the armband today with Bergson's injury. And Botang was caught late. Elliot. Branson moves forward again. Here's Sheridan. Holsworth. Oh, he certainly can catch it. Got goal side of Gary McAllister. Dean Holsworth. And that was a fine strike. And oh, Hedman was well beaten. That's a great clearance by Brannigan. Finding Thompson by Elliott he's Dublin Huckabee is there we'll take long Clement's headed down a little space here for Darren Huckabee to get the equaliser indeed well he might have been the player Gordon Stracker would be thinking we're replacing at half time but on the stroke of half time Darren Huckabee says nope sorry boss you're going to have to keep me on because I've got the side level good play it has to be said deriving from come on the brave header down into Huckabee ball across and when it arrived at the feet of Darren Huckabee for the first time in the match he was able to get goal sides. Elliott out of position. His first touch was great. The second set himself. The third gave Brannigan no chance. And it has brought Coventry City level. And it's 1 1 at the break. Match feels like it's just settled down into a little lull after all the excitement that we have seen, particularly in the first half. 
it to really take off at the moment. Dublin. Eventually it does Ryan McAllister. Looks for Huckabee. Fish is there. Brannigan's there. Oh, it's a dreadful mistake that Huckabee should have taken. Oh, would you believe this? The long wall comes in. Fish and Brannigan get in each other's way. They made a real meal of it. And Huckabee should have scored. And a change of foot. David Burrows is on for Marcus Hall at left back. Oh, this game feels like anyone could go for it. Both sides are trying to win this. Shaw. Botang. Callister was looking for Huckabee. The interception was made really well. Here's Blake. Holsworth. Trying to look for Blake again. More great football. Good work from Franson. Sheridan. Beardsley has space. Up against Burrows. Beardsley again. Vantage played. Cox. Into the box. Beardsley. Franson. I thought he was going to go for goal. Sheridan though plays an excellent ball. This is Neil Cox here. Last minute of the 90. Beardsley. And it's hooked away. Bolton finishing strong. Franson. Oldsworth trying to turn. Oh, it strikes the bar. Blake is there. And it flies away. Goodness gracious me. What a chance for Dean Holsworth. Fourth goal of the season and a winning goal beckoned again. And the bar denied him. Oh, what a phenomenal end. And Bolton Wanderers can hold their heads up high. They put on a fantastic effort today. Coventry City gave it a go, but they just seemed to fade as the second half wore on. Bolton had the best chance in the end with Holdsworth's effort. Striking the bar in the final moments. A full time and probably really will be so here for the home side. It is Coventry City 1, Bolton Wanderers 1. Well, one apiece in the end. Bolton's 100% record comes to an end, but Coventry City will be pleased with that. Uh, bearing in mind, sometimes when you don't play as well, that draw can feel like a better result. Yeah, I suppose it comes into context, doesn't it? Did, did you produce the equaliser? How did you play overall? I think a draw is probably just about a fair result overall. It's not often you get fair results in football, but I'd say that today. But I would say I think Bolton uh, uh, at the moment seem to be uh, getting themselves into good rhythm. But I like the look of Coventry. I think uh, there's, there's something being produced there. And uh, uh, I, I like the young lad Huckabee. And I think him linking up with Dublin, it's exciting. And uh, it's been a while since Coventry have been exciting. Yes, let's uh, try not to talk to Trevor Hill about how exciting Coventry is. Not sure he's got the chin for it. Right, let's go ahead and recap some of the other games that take place, starting off with Arsenal's trip to Southampton at the Dell. Arsenal showed that they definitely got the credentials for winning the Premiership this season as they absolutely destroyed a Southampton side struggling for form. Dennis Perkamp got the opening goal. His brilliant header was far too good for anybody in a red and white striped shirt. Mark Overmars had an excellent game and his best effort struck the goalkeeper in the first half. No one in a Southampton shirt realised Dennis Burkamp was free. He went ahead and got his second of two. It was eventually Mark Overmars that found enough room and eventually find the right finish in the end. He darted his way into the Southampton pe penalty area. No chance for Jones, 3-0 Arsenal. But if there's anything that's going to put a little asterisk on this, it's the fact that the great Arsenal defence did yield in the end. Jason Dodds cross was met by Edward Ustenstadt. It flew in. It was nothing but consolation at the end. Arsenal starting to look impressive at the start of the season. Leeds United have got to watch out for these little slip-up games for them. For Crystal Palace, it showed them they're delighted to be back in the big time. Sanza Kerchik got the opening goal. His left-footed strike was far too good for Nigel Martin as Leeds United's defending was woeful. And second goal arrived when Thomas Brawling found a bit of room. A low strike which eventually was able to beat Nigel Martin who said he was blindsided by Lucas Radaby. It didn't matter. Leeds United beaten at home and convincingly. 
Wimbledon got the opening goal and an opening start to a season which is looking similar to last. They look difficult to beat and look to be able to catch teams out on the break. That was proven when Marcus Gale found himself through and found an excellent finish past Pressman. But Benito Carboni got things back in level for Wednesday. A lovely little pass across by Paolo De Canio to spot Andy Booth in acres of space. He was able to strike the ball home and level the match up. And ease a bit of pressure on David Pleat. Everton have struggled for form at the moment this season, but started to show a glimpse of what they're capable of at home to West Ham United. Gary Speed got the opening goal in the first half, beautifully played through by Duncan Ferguson, and he found a fantastic finish. In the second half, West Ham United grew into the game. John Hartson was able to get through after Slavan Bilic, the former hammer, completely lost him in the area. The Welshman took full advantage and was able to finish easily past Paul Gerrard. But there was to be a winning goal and it was good work again between Speed, Bambi and the newly signed Gareth Farrelly. His first goal, his first win at his new club, a moment to remember for the Irishman and for Everton, their first win of the season. Now Barnsley at the moment. Well, they've got their opening win at the moment of the season. They're one from two at the moment, but a real big test of them with Chelsea arriving them. The FA Cup winners, how would they cope? Well, in terms of changes from last week, Viali is out and Zola is in at the moment. And so does young Jody Morris partnering up for them in, uh, in midfield. As for uh, Barnsley today, they're unchanged, led by the, the Ashley Ward that they have signed from Derby County. Commentary on this one comes from Trev Motson. Chesku on the right hand side for Chelsea gets away from his man. Looking for support now. Gets it from Dennis Wise. Jody Morris. Morris over to Celestine Babayaro. Let's fly and scores. Babayaro, the new signing, opens his account in a Chelsea shirt. It's been a dominant opening quarter of an hour. And now Chelsea. Take the lead, Celestine Babayaro introducing himself to the Chelsea fans. The Nigerian was given far too much room on the left hand side. And once he got past his man, he was able to curl it beyond David Watson and open the scoring for the away team. Morris with the ball out. And the Olympic gold medalist gives Chelsea the lead. It's 1-0. Petrescu into Wise. Now Dennis Wise can find Gianfranco Zola, the Italian. Hughes. Mark Hughes! Oh, it's a wonderful second! With half-time approaching, Chelsea double their lead. And it's Mark Hughes with a vintage strike from the edge of the area. It was far too simple for Chelsea though. Petrescu to Zola, who then played it onto Hughes. And it's a superb strike into the back of the net. But if Barnsley harbour hopes of staying in the Premiership, their defending is going to have to be much better than that. Jubri with the long ball up towards Hughes. Only half out of the way. And Babiaro into Hughes. The two goal scorers combining there. Aidy Moses holds up Hughes, but the Welsh striker retains possession. Babiaro. Now Morris. Dennis Wise for Chelsea. Is it a good tackle? Yes, it is. Chelsea still. Old possession and this is Zola! Chelsea 3-0 up, Gianfranco Zola with a wonderful strike and that is surely all three points wrapped up. It was imperative that Barnsley scored the first goal of the second half, instead they have conceded inside three minutes. They just could not clear the ball. And again, a defensive lapse allows Zola the freedom of the penalty box. And he punished the hosts. 
so simple for Chelsea who are now 3-0 ahead the ball up towards Hughes gets away from his man Mark Hughes will he get back onto it yes he will oh it's a good save finally Chelsea are denied Barnsley couldn't clear their lines and Watson with the stop to deny Mark Hughes Zola over the free kick plays it in clear the way picked up by Eddie Newton Frank Leboeuf Petrescu now the Romanian on the right hand side and Barnard with him but this is Zola for four brilliant from Chelsea and Barnsley have no answers wave after wave of attack and we're only midway through the second period it's already 4-0 to Chelsea expert finishing all afternoon from Chelsea Petrescu has been a menace on that right hand side and the little Italian coming up with some more magic to make it 4-0 so we'll pick this one up and a hat-trick now of course this is Hughes so look at the run ahead Hops to play it out wide to Petrescu who gets the ball in and Zola completes his treble the smallest man on the pitch was able to head beyond Watson and he'll be going home on the team bus with a match ball underneath his arm a brilliant header from Zola it's been a superb performance from the Italian again Hughes and Petrescu involved in the build up a lovely ball in from the right back and Zola with a rare header to make it Barnsley nil Chelsea five a vintage performance from Zola well it was uh, it wasn't really close was it in the end uh, a comprehensive result and uh, Chelsea you know showing the, the Premiership's class on the first division there yeah I think uh, you know it's a big step up from the Football League and it has become a bigger bigger gap as it's done over the last five years and that showed here today uh, and you look at international players like Gianfranco Zola they just had a, a, a no answer for them in the way in which they played it, it was it was brilliant to watch and Zola was magnificent he was really really good right time for the uh, last uh, a few games to wrap up from this weekend and uh, uh, we start at the moment at White Hart Lane. The first of two one nils at the moment. This was a game about seeing what's ahead of you. Howell saw space. Les Ferdinand saw that there was a man across. David Ginola saw glory. Ginola proving he's loving life in North London. Rejuvenated after his move from Newcastle. And Ginola's former side were also on the scoring sheet in the end. John Dow Thomason played in John Barnes. He squared it for Festino Aspria to score. Into the Champions League proper Newcastle United. And another 1-0 win for them. Could Kenny Daglish get them back to firing for the Championship? Speaking of the Championship, if ever there was a poor game, this 0-0 was certainly that. The highlight of it was this effort by Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, which was offside. It wasn't a match to write home about, but it just shows you when this is the only highlight, probably best that we showed this one last. So in week three of the Premiership, Arsenal go top at the moment as they are the uh, side to win again. They've got a better goal difference than Leicester City and Bolton Wanderers. That's why they sit there at the top of the pile. Crystal Palace still remain in the top fifth at the moment. And Newcastle United, enough for that win, go sixth. Bottom of the table. Everybody's off the mark apart from Southampton. They're still winless at the moment in the Premiership. And Dave Jones really does look like he's got his work cut out. Derby County, Villa and Sheffield Wednesday all without a win at the moment so far this season. 
Well, now it's time to go for the match of the day. Man of the day it can only be one man. Gianfranco Zola. What a performance he had and what a result it was. A wonderful hat-trick. It's worth showing again, isn't it? Bye-bye. Dennis Wise for Chelsea. Is it a good tackle? Yes, it is. Chelsea still. Oh, possession and this is Zola! Chelsea 3-0 up. Gianfranco Zola. And Barnard with him. But this is Zola for four. Brilliant from Chelsea. And Barnsley have no answers. Hops to play it out wide to Petrescu. Who gets the ball in and Zola. Completes his treble. Thank you for watching here this match on Trevor Sports. If you've liked it, please don't be afraid to like, share and subscribe to the channel. And if you do fancy it, head on over to Kofi. The link is in the description. Buy me a coffee for all the hard work. Other than that, make sure you enjoy more games coming up.